Hey dolls! So today I will be doing a little DIY tutorial on how to make your own Eda bag. As you can see, mine is definitely not your traditional anime style. Mine is more of a My Little Pony theme. So feel free to use these techniques and use whatever you have to make yours your very own in your own personal style. So obviously the things I'm going to be using are my bag that I got off of Amazon and it's just one of those classic heart-shaped uh, Eda bags. The inside has this little pocket right here so you can put stuff um, along this little piece of fabric and it will show through the little clear window. And then of course you're gonna need a little box or container of goodies that you want to incorporate into your bag. Of course, I am obviously not going to be using all of this because this is like three times the size of this bag. <laughs> but uh, I just wanted to show you, these are some of the things that you can use in your Eda bags. And as I mentioned before, I am not going to be doing mine um, Japanese or anime themed. I'm actually probably gonna be doing a My Little Pony theme, which you guys have probably already seen, uh, judging by the the intro to this video but I have things in here like little keychains from Claire's some puppy surprise puppies that would look really cute um, some G3 my little ponies from Happy Meals forever ago bows bows are definitely a great thing to add to any eat a bag and then of course some pins some random pieces of fabric uh, again more keychains just all kinds of different cutesy girly things are what I'm going to be adding so with that being said the first thing that I'm going to add to my bag is I feel like the outside is pretty plain or basic so I'm going to add some lace to it um, I have my hot glue gun heating up right now but I have several different lace and ribbons that I got from various different places. I think a couple of these came from Hobby Lobby or Walmart. Um, this lace I got off of eBay. And then just some ribbon even. But what I'm gonna do, I think, is cut or fold this in half and maybe go around the outside edge of the heart. Um, and then I also have some of these like little sequins that I can also add. So I, it's to the point where I'm kind of just overwhelmed. I don't really know what all to add just yet. Um, I feel like this white one's really cute. I think I'm gonna go so crazy as to add this lace, this white lace, and one of these sequins. I'm not sure whether to use pink or white just yet, but um, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and speed up this footage. I have my hot glue gun ready to use right next to me, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start cutting and gluing these little laces and ribbons and sequins all around the outside little perimeter of this heart shape.
Alright, so as you can see, I decided against the white little lace flowers. Um, I like how this looks a little bit better. So I just have the pink lace on the outside and the sequins on the inside to cover up the glue uh, from the lace. Uh, one thing I will recommend is when you're putting the lace on, definitely fold it in more spots than I did. I only folded it a little bit like you guys could see. I only scrunched it up around this part. And then I kind of just like straightened the whole thing out here, but that caused it to kind of pull inward like this. So definitely my best advice is when you are doing the lace on these is to scrunch it up as you go rather than just in spots. Now what I could do is just take minor amounts of glue and just kind of like glue these pieces down here and there. Um, but I really like how it goes forward at the top, right here at the top of the heart. I just don't like how it does it down here. So what I'm gonna do is actually glue down this tail at the bottom of the heart here. I'm just gonna do a little tiny dot of glue, just so tiny, and kind of spread it out and then just glue that little tail down and as you guys saw I was using the handle of my scissors to kind of press the glue down that's just so I don't burn my fingers while I'm doing it because I have done that numerous amounts of time and I hate when it happens I'm not gonna do it everywhere because like I said I really like the um the look of it kind of folding outwards but not all over the place so I'm just gonna glue down a couple spots where I think it just looks a little too messy and just like that so then you can see it kind of presses it down a little bit without taking away from the cute little pop-up effect at the top right here so I think I might actually do that once more right here and then once more over on this side and then that should be good I like how that looks. So I am done with the lace and sequin detail on the outside. So now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the inside. So I have a piece of G3 My Little Pony fabric that I have already cut to size and I have some safety pins here. So what I'm gonna do is basically just stick this on this inside pocket and then smooth it out, make sure it's all even, and then I'm just gonna safety pin it in place. Then that way I can remove it later if I want to kind of change up the theme of my bag or anything like that. Okay, now this part is gonna be kind of hard to show you because I can't really show you like the ins. Well, maybe I can. I'm gonna take some safety pins and just safety pin um, each side of that fabric. So I'm basically just safety pinning it to this little flap right here this in here push it through just like that and then secure it and then that way the fabric is pinned and won't move around as much and what I love about this is I could totally just stop here and it looks absolutely adorable like a custom My Little Pony bag which I love so much so if you wanted something a little bit more simplistic you could literally just get some cute fabric put some lace around it and call it good you don't have to make it like a full-on Ida style bag you can just do it like so but because I am extreme and extravagant I have all kinds of these cutesy like My Little Pony items I have some my little pony pins in here that are g3 I'm basically going for a g3 my little pony feel to it so I'm gonna start adding some things and just seeing what I can do with this I also forgot to mention that if you want to do things on the outside you can also add like a bow right here or maybe at the bottom or on the side and that would kind of spice it up and make it cute as well but I honestly don't think I really need a bow just yet but if I get towards the end and I find that I want to add something maybe like this or like right here or right here I can totally just super glue or um, hot glue that on there. So the cool thing of what I can do is since this safety pin is kind of hanging down right here, I can take something like a keychain that has like a little clasp on it and I can attach that to there so it kind of hangs down. So I could do it on this side, which is what I'm gonna do. 
but I just attached the uh, keychain to that um, to there and then so this cute little thing can kind of well if it'll cooperate that cute little thing can kind of dangle down like that and be kind of like three-dimensional and jingle around and also things like this are awesome because they aren't too heavy so they're not gonna weigh down your bag I think I want to add this in there somewhere this is a cute little fairy K style pendant or brooch that I got from kawaii goods it is kawaiigoods.com in case you were curious um, but this is a uh, dual purpose so it can either be a little clip or you can also pin it to something so obviously I'm probably going to pin it right in here I'm gonna open this up to see what it would look like once it's pinned on if I can get this in here and if I pinned it right up here I think that would look really cute secure this down I know it's really hard to see exactly what I'm doing but I think you guys can get the idea it's basically as if you were just doing a safety pin again okay so there we go so far and now I think I'm gonna take some of my little pins and start pinning those I have these two and this one I do have this random little breast cancer ribbon you can easily make one yourself just by taking a pink ribbon making a little breast cancer ribbon and then safety pinning t it together just like that it's really that easy but I have this little one right here that already has the safety pin on it so I'm gonna go ahead and just safety pin that um, kind of like right here in this area there we go now we can see the little ribbon in there which is a cute little touch as well maybe right here it's kind of hard to feel what you're doing there's that one okay so there are those and then I think I'm gonna do the last one maybe right in the middle and then I'm just going to loosely put in my Pinkie Pie just at the bottom right there sticking our little head out okay so I went ahead and just tied this bow in this ribbon right here and I'm going to hot glue just a little tiny bit on the center so that it keeps its shape without um, coming untangled or unraveled or anything while it's bouncing around in the bag and just a little quick tip when you make ribbon bows like this if you have parental supervision have them take a lighter and just kind of hold it over the little tails because then they will not fray it'll kind of create like a little barrier so that the ribbon will not fray off over time but just make sure that you have adult supervision doing this um, because you don't want to burn yourself so what I'm going to do is stick the safety pin once through the fabric just like that and then I'm going to stick the bow I'm going to try and zoom you in so you can see what I'm doing here so then I'm going to stick the bow right here so sticking it in the back be very careful not to hurt yourself while you are doing this and then you want to stick the remaining of the safety pin back through the fabric and clasp it off okay, and then you kind of just have your bow hanging down right there so I have these G3 My Little Pony stickers and I'm taking one and I put like a slight little dab of hot glue on there and I'm just going to glue and make sure that this sticker is stuck to this hair bow and then I am going to stick my little Pinkie Pie down here in the corner so she's just kind of peeking through. Might as well just add Minty in there as well because I can always take them out or change them for different ones. Uh, but for now, that looks really cute. Yeah, that is probably going to be the inside of my Eda bag. Sorry for the glare on my camera. Let me zoom you guys out a little bit. And the last and final touch that I can do is add My Little Pony stickers around the outside if I wanted. So I'm just gonna take a couple of them 
and see what this looks like. So there's a Fluttershy, a Rainbow Dash, kind of up here at the top. And these are just stickers, so you can easily just take them off or exchange them out or whatever. Again, it's not really a permanent thing, and they may or may not just kind of gradually come off on their own. Um, so you can definitely play with it and just kind of make it your own, and whatever works, works, and whatever doesn't, trial and error. <laughs> Let's add Triple Treat, because I love Triple Treat, and I want her to be on my back her right there and then we'll put one more little flower one right there and I think that is going to be my G3 themed My Little Pony Eat a Bag. I'm actually quite happy with it. I think it came out rather well. Um, other than this ice cream that keeps flipping around, I think I may end up just taking the ice cream off of there just for the fact that it keeps flipping around and it's like very annoying because it won't just stay cute. I just want you to stay cute. Thank you. Stay cute. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, uh, please give it a big thumbs up and if you want to DIY your own Eda bags with your friends, feel free to share this video with them and also you can hot glue some like studs or rhinestones or more sequins around the outside like I said before and I just want to say thank you guys for watching sorry it was a long video but at the same time stuff like this takes time and effort and just persistence in figuring out what looks the best and what you like the best so if you liked this video like I said before please give it a big thumbs up this is a thumbs down for me but for you it's appearing as a thumbs up so just give it a thumbs up and with that being said I will talk to you all in the next video so until then so long stay strong stay true I got to do my heart upside down stay true and be you all right bye Phew.